Greetings, young men. This is Principal Kefele. As you can hear, my voice is messed up. I've been doing a lot of speaking, but I got some sinus allergy issues to go along with it. So when you combine all the speaking I've been doing with the sinus and allergy issues, the result, the voice you hear right now, kind of scratchy, kind of scraggly, not too clear, but guess what? Nothing's going to stop me. Once again, nothing's going to stop me. No one's going to stop me. Regardless of the voice, I'm going to get the work done. I'm going to get the job done. So with that said, I got a message for you. You know, I'm right now in a hotel. I tell you, I'm always in these hotels. I'm in a town called Springfield, Tennessee. I landed in Nashville, Tennessee and drove about a half hour here. Looking forward to working with a school, staff, and students all day tomorrow. But I got a message for you first. I always put you ahead of everything else. That message is, being a follower is being a leader too. Once again, being a follower is being a leader too. What do I mean? Sounds like a contradiction. No contradiction. See, in order, for, you know, we, we, we talk about, we say to young people all the time, you got to be a leader. You got to stand up and be a leader. Well, yes, that, that is true. But sometimes we leave an important piece out of that. We say we want you to lead, but how are you going to know how to lead if you don't follow somebody first? So I'm saying to you, young men, yeah, we want you to lead. We want you to lead effectively. We want you to, to set the example, to be a model lessons for ever, for other people but first you got to follow some people who have already gotten it done you've got to follow people who are doing that which you want to do so i look at myself i'm a i'm an educator i'm an author i'm a speaker but make no mistake about it i have followed other educators i have followed other speakers i have followed other writers or authors. I have learned from them. I submitted to them. I studied them. I learned from their example and I was able to craft my own example. So in other words, from learning from other educators, particularly principals, learning from other speakers, learning from other writers, I was able to now craft that which was unique to me as an educator which was unique to me as a writer, which was unique to me as a speaker, as opposed to just trying to create this thing by myself without having an example of what others have done. So I had to follow. And by following, it made me that much more effective. It made me that much better at what I do because I followed others' leads and examples as opposed to just trying to create and invent on my own. I will tell you that my brand, in terms of my identity as an educator, as a writer, as a speaker, it is unique. It's me. It's something I created. But I still needed the template. I still needed the model. I still needed the example of other people to help me craft my brand into what it is today, Principal Kefele. So I'm a leader, but I'm a leader and I'm effective as a leader because I was a great follower. So I'm saying to you, young men, you got to follow whatever it is that you want to do, whatever direction you're moving in. And I'm talking about in the very positive, whatever direction you're moving into, whatever it is that you're going to do, you got to find some people who have already done it or done something similar to it so that you can learn from their lead, so that you can learn from their example so that you can fashion and shape and mold that which you want to do, pattern after what they did. It makes your job that much easier because they've already provided the blueprint. They've already provided the template. Now you take your, your creativity, your uniqueness, and you craft your own so that now whatever you do, it becomes yours. It becomes unique. It becomes very special to you. But you were following so that you can learn from other people. So there's so many different categories that I could talk about relative to being a good follower 
in order to become a good leader. But the bottom line, it all boils down to just that, being a good follower first. Learning from other examples or other people's examples and leads first. And then you begin to emerge as that leader because you have them as your foundation. Enough said. Let's be great followers. Because to be a great leader, you got to be a great follower. So let's make it happen, young men. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get it done. This is Principal Kefele with a messed up voice, but that voice is not going to stop me. Don't let anything stop you. Let's go. Thanks for listening. Peace.